In this video, you will learn how to create a new document and how to change the settings to match the project that you are working on. First of all, you can choose one of the options from the welcome screen, but if you accidentally close the welcome screen or you're already working in Illustrator and need to open the document, I'm going to show you another way to create a new document. So let me go ahead and close out of this welcome screen. To create a new document, I'm going to go up to File, go down to New. Notice how on this menu it also gives you a shortcut key. You can press Ctrl and N to create a new document. I'm going to go ahead and click on New. Now this window pops up. Before you just click OK, let me go through a couple of important things to help you in creating good documents. First of all, always give your document a name. If you leave your document untitled 1, it's going to be difficult to go back and find your document later on. So I like to give a document a title that reflects what it is I'm working on. In this case, I'm going to go ahead and give the title my first document. That way I can remember, oh, this is the first document that I created inside of Adobe Illustrator. Great. Now the next thing I want to show you is before you hit OK, there's a lot of different options here. And I want to go through these options so that it makes it easier for you in your design. First of all, it says New Document Profile. If I click on this down arrow, you can see there's the same options that I had inside of the welcome screen. I can choose a new print document, a web document, a couple of different options as well. If I choose a print document, it actually changes to make this document work better if I were to print this out. If I wanted to make something for the web, I would have to make things different. Now just so you can see some of the changes, right here you can see the color mode is CMYK and we'll talk more about that later. You can also see the PPI is 300 and that's pixels per inch and we're going to talk more about this later as well. But watch what happens when I change this to a web document. If I click up on this down arrow and I go down to a web document, my color mode has now changed to RGB and the PPI has changed to 72. So you can see there's some changes that happen when you choose a document profile. Whenever you start a new document, you always want to choose the document profile based on what you're going to output your project as or what you're making your project for. If you're making it for something that's going to be printed, it needs to be designed differently than if you're creating something that's going to be put on the web or on a phone. So you always want to make sure you do this first. Now the next thing you can do is create the number of artboards. And we're going to talk about artboards in just a minute, but basically this is the work area that you, you have to create your designs. So I'm going to go ahead and leave mine at 1 for right now. In fact, I'm going to change this back to print. And as we continue down, you can see there's some other options. Some options are grayed out. This is because we only have one artboard. If we were to add more artboards, you can see I can now choose the amount of spacing, the number of columns. I can choose how my artboards are laid out. For right now, we're going to go ahead and skip over that and stick with just one artboard. Continuing down, we can choose a size our document is going to be. Now, letter size paper is regular paper. It's uh, eight and a half inches by 11 inches, and that's common paper used in the United States. So I'm gonna go ahead and keep this set to letter. But notice, if I click on this down arrow, there's a bunch of different types of paper sizes. So I can use a different page size, or I can even create a custom page. This is a great feature. Now, the next thing I wanna point out Notice how I said that the width of a letter is 8.5 inches by 11 inches. But right here we can see it's 612 PT by 792 PT. Now the unit of measurement that is being used by default is points. This is a really important thing. Unless you are an expert at using points, I would recommend changing your unit of measurement to something that you're more accustomed to using. So for example, I'm going to go ahead and change this to inches. If you use uh, metric, you might change it to millimeters or centimeters. But in this case, I'm going to go ahead and keep it as inches. Now, I would recommend changing this every time that you create a document because it's going to affect the way the rulers work. It's going to affect the way the size objects are inside of your document. You can work in any of these units uh, of measurement, but I strongly recommend working with something that you're more comfortable with. So I'm going to change it to inches. This next option is orientation portrait, which basically means it's 8.5 inches wide by 11 inches tall. If we were to switch the orientation, you can see the width changes to 11 inches and the height is 8.5 inches. I'm going to go ahead and keep this set at portrait orientation. And then there's a couple of other options here that you can see where the bleed is. This is where the printing goes to the edge of the, the document. 
I'm going to click on advanced and you can see a couple more options. Here are the options that were changed over here when we switched the type of profile our document was using. Here I can choose the different color mode whether it's CMYK or RGB and we're going to go through this a little bit later on and notice an error pops up. That's because if you're planning on doing something for print normally you don't want to use it create it in RGB. So we're going to switch it back to CMYK. You can choose different uh, resolutions for, for printing. I'm going to go ahead and keep this at high and you can preview a couple of different ways. So don't get too worried about the advanced mode. What I want you to focus on is to always give your document a name and to always choose a profile that matches what it is you're going to be designing for. After that, make sure to choose the correct unit of measurement or unit of measurement you understand very well. That's important. Once you have those things done, you can go ahead and click OK. And now you have a new artboard. This artboard is my 8.5 by 11 uh, that I created so that I can go ahead and start creating my art inside of Adobe Illustrator.